sợ bác Safety first. What's up guys? Eric and I made it up the tree stand. This is our game plan for the morning. We're just gonna set doubles up here. And uh, maybe we can double up. If not, one of us will be able to get a shot. Kind of film each other, but man, this is fun. We're up here. This opening morning of the Utah deer season. I just like, I almost can't believe that it's here, but it is. It's time to rock. What do you think, Eric? There we go, guys. This is a tree stand I've had up here for a few years. I've had a couple opportunities up here that were just killer and I didn't connect. Um, so we set up a second stand for Joel, right handed shooter. So I've got an elk tag too. That's a thing. If an elk walks in, he's in danger. <laughs> But yeah, I'm with Joel. Can't believe it's here. Freaking hunting season has started. Well guys, we sat for several hours and uh, the sun's come up, completely covered this hillside right down below us. We saw just one deer, just a real quick glimpse about an hour and a half ago up there, but uh, nothing since. So we're packing up, gonna head back down the tree and Eric's got a trail camera over here so we're gonna check the trail camera see what's been hitting it and uh maybe do a little still stalking through these pines we're gonna try to make a game plan after checking the trail camera and just figure out what we're doing but it's been kind of a slow morning so we decided to pack up and head back down the tree Here at 843. 
or 916 right now. Got down, got down a, little, a little too early. Wait, when was that? Um, Sunday. Who's this? <laughs> the hiker. Look at the body on that. Just a little guy. So he's coming right on this trail. That's a new buck too, dude. What's with all these new deer? Oh, he came in at 8 p.m. Typically, I haven't seen him here in, in the evenings. Daytime photos. Fawn and a doe. 124. Yeah, that's rare they come in the day like that. Oh, that's that heavy one. This is what this guy was with the four point that you want to kill. This was the heavy one? 8.15 a.m. again. Dude. Let's see if he's with his buddy. He was here at 8.15 and then a doe at 9.44 and then look, 9.47 and a fawn. We'll keep going through these, there's a couple more days to check. But my uh, phone keeps locking up on me, dang it. Hi right, guys, we made it back to camp. We're gonna do just a little bit of midday relaxation. Hit up the uh, hammocks. Maybe take a little bit of a nap. We're just waiting for Casey and Martin to get down from the glassing knob. Let's kind of know what they saw, but it'll feel good to kick back a little bit. All right, guys, we are headed headed out for the evening sit. Martin's gonna go up to the glassing point and. Uh, Try to see if you can't find some bucks or figure out a routine from up there. Casey's gone. Where are you going, Casey? I'm gonna get lost in the pine trees. You're gonna get lost in the pines? Yeah. <laughs> that seems to work. That's how you killed your buck a couple of years ago, huh? Yeah. I don't know where the hell you're at, so let's just go to the pines somewhere. <laughs> and then I am going all the way down into the basin to the shooter tree. It's actually where Eric killed his buck last year, so these guys saw some bucks move past the shooter tree this morning, so we're hopeful that something comes out in the basin. It gives me an angle, so we'll see you guys there. <clears throat> this bush is so dang steep. Casey and I just split up down below this knob. He went into where he's gonna set, but we're gonna hike up three quarter way up the basin and then cut across the shooter tree, but man, it takes a little time getting up here because dang it, it is so steep. It's hot right now. It's like 84 degrees. So, hoping when I get down there, I've got a little bit of shade, but I think I've got a lot of daylight left. It's only about 3.45 right now, so it gets, darker. it gets dark around 9. We're going to set in for the long haul, see if we can't kill something. All right. <clears throat> Just about to move out of the pines over to the shooter tree, which is right. There. Stay back in the shade a little bit. I'm gonna glass this basin real good. Make sure there's nothing bedded like up around any of these pines or something that I could be making a move on before I go to the shooter tree, but we'll see. Hopefully we can turn something up. Almost made it to shooter tree. I'm gonna, I'm opting to move just a little bit higher up in the basin. Down here is just, I don't know, whatever it is, the time of day or whatever. I'm just in the direct sunlight and I need to move, so I'm gonna move at least down a little bit, try to get into the shade, see if that helps. Buck is back over 
up here on this knob I'm overlooking this big basin that's got the uh, the rock cliffs that that buck was bedded near he's moved up and I watched him bed down just right below there's a big patch of aspens he just bedded right below that patch of aspens there's no way for a stalk so I mean like absolutely no way the big buck and the small buck are down below those aspens and it would be super, super thick and very loud trying to get to them. So I'm just held up here on the ridge waiting for them to stand up and hopefully start feeding their way back up. And if they do, I might be able to be in a good position because the saddle is just below me at like 65, 70 yards. So we'll see what they do. I know Eric is on the other side of the saddle on the spine. I'm trying to be really quiet. Like dead calm out here right now. And last I ranged him, he was 254 yards directly below me. So just trying to be patient, waiting for the sun, hopefully to stand up and start moving. That's all we can hope for. Well guys, I'm walking back to my pack. I just put my shoes back on. 
I still stalked in my socks about 80 or 100 yards to try to get into distance. And they crested the saddle just before I got there. Right as I was starting to get into position, I could hear them walking down the rock slope on the backside. So they had already made the saddle. Just didn't make it in time. I should have tried moving sooner, but right when they stood out of their beds, I pretty much started moving. I just didn't know, didn't want to take a chance of messing up an opportunity if they came up the hill toward me where I was already set up. But they obviously didn't, so I headed back to the pack. I've got about a two and a half mile walk back to camp and it's pretty much dark, so I'm gonna try to be careful on these cliff faces. This, this is some sketchy terrain to be hiking in the dark, so you just make sure I'm smart with every step I take. All right, we'll see you guys back at camp. What's up, bro? No. I I didn't see him. I heard them, dude. When I I was sitting here glassing him, and I saw him stand up out of his bed, and then I was just like, I've got to get ahead of him. Right down in the saddle is where they were headed. So I like as quiet as I could. I dumped off to get my wind down here. I dumped off and went down this ridge, and about halfway down here, I dropped my boots and started still stalking in my socks. And I'm not mad that I did because I think I'd have busted them if I was in my boots. But by the time I got there, I could hear, they didn't bust. I could just hear them walking down the rock of the backside. They'd already crested. Did you see him at all? Dang it. <laughs> yeah, he's back to camp. We got dinner rocking. Casey's cooking up his, what did you get? This is cauliflower rice, Joel. <laughs> Guys that care about their physique, you know. <laughs> He's trying to get eight percent. Trying to get eight percent body fat up on the mountain. I'm trying to clean, clean the pan. Then I'm doing a uh, rotwurst. What's up? Dang. On a tortilla. A little tiny. Dude, little the tortilla. It's not even gonna fit on the tortilla. I'll have to split them, and then I got some ketchup. If I wasn't lazy, which maybe I should, I got some peppers and onions that I could saute. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. I got the Chad Mendez Signature Series Elk Ragu Pasta from Peak Refuel. Thing's pretty dang good, so I'm excited about that. Martin's got canned chicken, which he's already demolished. <laughs> Consumed it so fast. Come on, we need a boil. Let's go. Stoves on stoves on stoves. All the stoves. <laughs> She'll boil. <laughs> All right, we got this sucker to a boil. Add this in. Dang, dude. You got all the goods going over here. Some going on. Those look so good. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, that is it for today's video. We're just packing things up for tomorrow morning's hunt. And uh, I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired. <laughs> Wake up early, about 5 o'clock, and uh, hit the basin, see if we can't get on some bucks tomorrow morning, but appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, remember to smash that subscribe button, give this video a like, make sure and go check out the Get Hushing guys. Drop their channel, oh my gosh, that was a big moth. <laughs> Drop their channel in the description below, and we will see you guys on the next video. Peace.